And now we have a total of seven paladins. How will they fare? Attack move. Go. And are we one-shotting now? I think we are actually one-shotting. <laughs> Hey! I am Feedback Gaming, and this is more Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Another blast from the past, Dave's childhood in a computer game. Remade, remastered, HD'd, 4K'd. Yeah, they've made a lot of updates to this game. It is time for another developer. Whoopsie. Age of Empires 2 is very old and also very new, and it constantly plays this tug of war with the old code and the new code. And when they modify the new code, they also simultaneously damage some of the old code. It is a very gentle balancing act. And when you add things like, oh, I don't know, like whole new countries to Age of Empires 2 with game mechanics that were never really intended to be in the base game. Oh, yeah. Oof. Things are gonna go wrong. Oh, Microsoft. Thank you so much for the blessing of content. So the question is, do you like knights? How about paladins? For the most part, the strongest unit in Age of Empires 2. You got speed, you got HP, armor, attack. You got a bit of everything. Very difficult to counter. The unit you make when you've got too much money or you're playing as the French. But what if your knights did unlimited damage? What if a single swing of the sword of a knight completely flattened a castle? Hmm. What if the cavalry charge of a knight was stronger than any other damage output of any other unit in the game? Trebuchet? Get out of the way. Trusty knight and his sword? That's right. That's where all the damage is. I can feel Bill Gates sweating right now. Single player. Do a quick skirmish. And what civilization do you think we should play as? Hmm? What do you think would be the ultimate knight civ? You'd think Byzantium with Catathrax armored horse? No, 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 no. The classic cavalry civ for Age of Empires 2. The Franks with their godly HP boost to their knights. No, 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 of course not. But what about the Huns? The literal horse gods who are also homeless. Sadly not. It is the most unlikely cavalry civilization. It is the Lithuanians. <laughs> So what do we have here? A cavalry among civilization. Okay, that checks out. Starts with extra food. Skirmishers and spears move faster. Huh. <gasps> but what is this? Each garrison relic gives plus one attack to knights and up to a maximum of plus four. That's pretty good, but that won't do. How high can we go? Lithuania, confirm. Let's play on a medium map. Extreme difficulty, of course. I'll make it all visual just for you guys so you can see all the action. And it wouldn't be Age of Empires 2 without Black Forest, right? Come on. Let's go. And here we are. Age of Empires 2. The greatest real-time strategy ever, potentially. And the natural enemy of the Lithuanians, of course, is the Lithuanians. Interesting. Lithuania versus Lithuania. Who will win? So first of all, we need to build a few houses. Of course, we'll get our population up. We're going to build ourselves a trusty church to put our beautiful relics in. And of course, a few stables to pump out a few horses. Just a few horses. Just one or two. Nah, forget it. Probably about a hundred. And houses. That's right. We're not the Huns. We need a lot of houses. In fact, so many houses. I love that it plays the sound effect every time you drop a house. I love that. Core game mechanics. The monastery is complete and we produce our first priest. Oh, look, a relic really nearby. How convenient. Stables are done and let's produce our paladins. What is a paladin, you say? Well, it, apparently it's a knight that's fully upgraded that has just so much HP, so much damage. It's incredibly strong. It is the late, late, late game knight. Paladin is a very strange name because apparently that's the term for someone who is part of the Knights Templar. Lithuanian Knights Templar. Hmm. Not sure if that's a historical thing. Historical game, maybe. The priest is free, and he moves very so slowly towards the goal, the dream, the exploit, the relic. Relic has been picked up, and we move it back to the monastery. So, what do relics do is the Lithuanians. So right now we have plus four attack due to the upgrades we've got, and this relic will give us a juicy extra plus one attack. Oh, can't wait. Here he goes, very slowly moving towards the monastery, ever so slowly, and it's in. What is this? <gasps> Plus one attack for the paladins. Let's pause for a second. So if I were to gather another three more relics, there's one here, and there's one here, and there's one here. Everyone will give me an extra plus one attack, up to a maximum of plus four. Maximum of plus four? Come on, Dave, you promised unlimited damage. Plus four attack? That's pathetic. Surely you could do better than that. But one thing the devs forgot about with the new expansion is what if it couldn't tell between one relic from another? And on top of that as well, what if it understood that there was no like limit of how many relics you could have? So what if I was to eject this relic? Oh, there, it's back here again. 
and then I was to pick it up and put it back in again and oh no plus six but hang on a second this is the same relic what's happening let's just drop that again I'm just pop it back in and again and again and again I see a pattern forming the uh the simple limit to this strategy is how quickly you can press your hotkeys did i ever tell you hotkeys are powerful would you like to see a hotkey dedicated video to everything with every single ever game that's ever existed including windows exploit guide to windows well let's get 10,000 likes on this video okay then we'll talk about that all right okay yeah so the game doesn't really understand there's not a plus four limit for some reason the devs removed the plus four limit i don't know why they did that and to top that off as well the devs haven't like differentiated between each relic being this unique relic. It thinks every single relic I'm placing inside my monastery is a completely unique one. If we go back to our paladins right now, oh dearie me, they are now dealing more damage than their base damage. The almighty swing of the Lithuanian paladin is unbelievably strong. But how far can we go? That is the question. Where is the limit? Where is the maximum amount of damage that a Lithuanian knight can actually do? That is a very big question. What is the limit? The sky is the limit. But in other news, uh, Lithuania is attacking Lithuania, as they naturally do, the natural enemies of Lithuania. Oh, but what's this? Oh my goodness, the damage. <laughs> the damage! <laughs> so as I completely demolish these Lithuanian paladins with Lithuanian paladins with just ridiculous damage, imagine the beads of sweat running down Bill Gates' head right now as I demolish his 20-year-old game. Hmm. Hey, I need some more paladins, more paladins. And then while we're at it, how about we mine just a little bit of gold? You know, because I think we're gonna need a little bit of gold, aren't we? What's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, that's right, we need houses. And the AI has suddenly decided, oh, oh, no, we're not gonna be able to win this. <laughs> Run away! Run away! Brave Sir Robin bravely runs away. What would the uh, a Lithuanian name for Robin be? I actually don't know. Hey, meanwhile, monastery. What if we just keep putting it in, putting it back in, over and over and over again? Hmm, yeah, you think they would have thought about this? The possibility of this? I think the big problem with this game is because it's so old, and the combination of old code and new code, whenever they introduce new elements to the game, they're technically breaking the old back end of the game. Hence the reason why this is able to happen. Uh, if you notice, with every big patch for Age of Empires 2 recently, they seem to be introducing these really big exploits. You want me to do more Age of Empires 2 exploits? Comment below to let me know. The way you do this a little bit quicker is you select your monk, pop him back in, press G to get on garrison, and then we just do this over and over again. You know, well, while we're at it, make another monk, and then just keep doing the method over and over again. Meanwhile, how many attacks do we need to take out one knight? I think it's about three, four, maybe. <laughs> knight, too strong, and attack move. Attack move to about here. And here we can see the uh, paladin trying to counter paladin. The ultimate counter for the most powerful unit in the game, the Paladin, is, you guessed it, the Paladin. Lithuanian cavalry charge, too strong. But, meanwhile, oh yeah, I forgot about the relic. Yeah, just keep doing this. And you know what, while we're at it, let's collect another relic. Because, you know, what would be easy if we just have more relics, therefore we could just milk this over and over and over again? Oh yeah. See, when you thought to yourself that gaining plus one attack on your knights in the blacksmith was really strong, and then all of a sudden you have the ability to do this, just three clicks away? Hmm. Oh, look at this. A siege workshop. What would happen if I whacked this? Oh my goodness. The damage. The damage! Ah, the AI and its forward stable strategy. Hmm. I don't think this is going to work. What's this? Two relics, you say? Oh yeah. Double the relic power. What damage are we up to right now? Ah! Plus 82 damage. Microsoft, I love you. My dream now is to do a one-hit kill on a paladin. Oof, we've got a lot more damage to go. Better start garrisoning. This never gets old. Plus 100 damage. The AI now is like, what is happening? <laughs> and if you look at the score difference, oh dear. Oh dear. The big question you're going to ask right now is, how high can you actually go? What is the limit? Let's find the limit. You can never get tired of this sound effect, guys. Don't you get like a little injection of dopamine when you hear that sound effect that a priest has picked up a relic? Don't you get that? The sound of gold. Or in this case, the sound of extra damage. Meanwhile, they're knights. I've got an extra plus five damage. Congratulations, you captured a single relic. <laughs> the method you do this to do this most optimally is you press G on the church, drop them, and right click to pop them back in again. And you can get some awesome RPMs going. Triple relic, you say? That's what I like to see. Is this more efficient? Um, I actually don't know. Ever so slightly. 
Uh, believe it or not, but this actually works on ladder, so you can actually play competitive multiplayer and actually do this. Uh, warning, high chance you may get banned if you abuse this. Oh, another attack. Now we have a total of seven paladins. How will they fare? Attack move, go. And are we one-shotting now? I think we are actually one-shotting. <laughs> and uh, they just fall. It looks it even doesn't look like they're fighting right now. It just feels like the minute they meet my paladins eye to eye, they just fall on the floor. The damage is absolutely devastating. Don't mind me, just coming through. The ram, single shot, a one shot on the ram. <laughs> Cannons, you say? Oh no, just move out of the way. Trebuchets, oh yeah, just a one shot. And the attack has now been turned into a retreat, a full blown retreat. They even bring a villager along to repair the ram. Oh, they ain't gonna be repairing that ram, not with a one shot. Seven knights we started with, and we leave with <laughs> seven knights. Getting lazy now. We're going to shift click to queue them up. Automization for the win. They just won't learn, will they? I love the beauty of this. I can just tell them to attack move to right here, direct through the center, and I can just watch them just grind through one by one. So if you're wondering why the AI is attacking when it knows it just can't win because I'm one-shotting everything, the AI doesn't take into account the power of my individual units. It just treats every unit as the same power level as they would normally. They just see this as 26 regular old knights, nothing fancy, nothing different, just 26 plain old paladins. And then they arrive and, oh yeah, this happens. One of the beautiful things about this method is paladins have a really high attack rate. The base attack rate is really high for such a high-end powerful unit. So you're attacking with a lot of damage and you're attacking very frequently with a lot of damage. Oh, what's this? Another gift? This is a subscription. Thank you for subscribing. You know what to do. Are you tired of the sound effect yet? Joke, you can never get tired of the sound effect. The sound effect is damage. Where are we right now? Per attack, 400 damage. So preventing myself from getting repetitive strain disorder, I think we're going to go with 400 damage. So you wanted to see a castle fall from knights alone, just from a few whacks? Let's go. AI being incredibly aggressive, placing bombard towers. The only true counter to 400 attack knights is bombard towers. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So here we are, guys. The Elite 20. Let's do a test run. Let's take out this siege workshop. And here we go. And that was about five attacks. Not bad. Not bad. Now, this barracks, can you count the attacks? One, two, three, four, five. I think it was about five or six. Not bad. Let's go for something a little bit bigger. Let's say, oof, Lithuanian castle. A total of 7,000 HP. How will it fare? Arrow fire, very strong. Hussars behind our ass doing damage. And then we whack the castle. Oh, the damage. <laughs> Ouch. The crumbling is so satisfying. And next, oh, villager garrisons in castle. I don't think that's gonna help you. And off we go. Oh my God, it just melts. It just melts. So the Lithuanian crusade is to invade Lithuania uh, to take out their castles. This is a historical game. Castle number three, the garrisoning. Uh, the minute they garrison, the minute they leave. Be real with me. Is there anything more satisfying than the crumbling animation? It's so satisfying, right? Even more satisfying with the knowledge that I'm taking out in like, I don't know, 20 swings maybe? Ugh, who needs stone anyway? Castle number, do you know what? I've lost count of how many castles have fallen now, but another one bites the dust. You know what? I'm literally just gonna right click and queue all of the castles. There's only two left and that's it and I'm done. A fair demonstration would see one paladin against this siege workshop. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it's about six shots. Sword of paladin, too strong building melts. It would be really nice if the AI attacked with actual armies and did form this massive conga line. Feels like a tower defense game. Time for the final push. You thought the cavalry charge was great for Burgundians? Check this out. And this, my friends, is war crimes. My final quest is to rid the world of Lithuanians. Hang on a second, I am Lithuanian. Rid the world of other Lithuanians. Single paladin versus town center. Who will win? the ultimate battle. One shot, two shot, three shots, four shots. Here he goes, guys. <laughs> Demolished. At this point, I just feel sorry for the AI. The AI is probably so confused at this point, like, hang on a minute, how am I even losing this? The final castle. God, it's so satisfying seeing a castle melt this quick. I don't know why the AI has done it, but it's built three churches? Why? And of course, the Lithuanians could not stand up to the mighty power of the Lithuanians. So we now have quadrupled the amount of score. 
but they've not given up. I'm really confused why they've not given up at this point. There we go. I shall abdicate. GG. So, if you have the patience, you can click a billion times and gain a paladin that has a billion extra attack with the potential of knocking down a castle in a single swing. Do I have 12 hours spare? Nope, but maybe you do. Hey, do you enjoy Age of Empires? Why not give us a like? Do you want to see more exploit videos? Hey, why don't you subscribe? Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you've not already done so, if your name is on screen right now, hop on my Discord and take advantage of the perks. Thank you, Patreon supporters.